Welcome back. It is still in the game here on New Central TV, wherever you are across the continent. Uh, remember, you can be part of the conversation. All you have to do is use the hashtag NC in the game across any of those social media platforms. Uh, that is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And the handle is at New Central TV. Go to the website, newcentral.africa, for the very latest news on the African continent. The NBA season serve tips off uh, later tonight. And uh, a lot is expected. Uh, from the African contingent in what is regarded as the strongest basketball league in all of the world. Uh, Pascal Siakam uh, and the likes are expected to do a lot this year. It's not the regular season, it's just 72 games this time around, but it's a unique season in the fact that we will be seeing probably a record number of Africans, especially players of African descent in the NBA. I've got two guys who when they talk basketball, you have got to listen. When these two guys talk about basketball, you definitely have to listen. I've got Femi Adefeso on uh, the on my left. Oh no, you're on my right. But the, the viewers <laughs> left. All right, Femi, great to have you on the show. Good to be here, Torres. Um, always a pleasure talking basketball. Hmm. Uh, he is the founder of Ball Africa, so uh, you can go to social media and follow Ball, Ball Africa and you can find all the updates uh, from uh, that handle. Ayotunde Onobolu is also here with the blue headphones. Um, uh, he is in the United <laughs> States. He's in the United States and will be keeping a close eye on the NBA for us um, throughout the duration. And we'll be talking to him uh, from time to time. Great to have you, Ayo. Uh, what's the general feel like in the U.S.? especially with the coronavirus and the NBA returning? I mean, it's excitement, uh, something to cheer about in the darkness we've experienced as a nation here, indeed as, as the global community. And um, mm. who is not excited that barely a few months after the NBA finals were concluded in Orlando, we have another opportunity to experience great basketball again this time not in the bubble scenario but now in all the venues all the 30 teams will be hosting games at different points in time and boy we're excited about it mm, all right thank you look you already sound so, like the nba started already but femi let me go with you now and the africans are expected to come out full force this year record number of africans in that nba draft um who are the key guys who we should look out for in the new season, the top ones and the ones who are just breaking in? Uh, well, depending on how you look at Africa, uh, some people will say, um, I mean, some are African, but they don't show that um, Africanness for uh, So you might not want to pick them in the first place. I think Yanis had to come up um, back to back MVP, is surely the number one on the chart as you watch out for. In terms of the players, one seat, one seat, fast across their camp as well. Uh, Serge Ibaka across the country, he moved from the north all the way to the south to Los Angeles, uh, where we're playing with the Clippers. The Clippers, of course, uh, are going in for the title this year. He's joining for with Kawaiyuna, I think they won uh, the NBA title together in Toronto. That's the song's word. I also think Precious Natural One is one to watch his rookie drafted by Andy. Um, top 20, I think, is the, is the third. Um, third Nigerian to be drafted in the top 20. Uh, and of course, himself and Azubike, the only two to have been drafted from Nigeria in the same draft class as Azubike. Um, Udoka, who was drafted by um, Utaja. Um, so that, look, those are a few of the names. I don't want to call all of them out so that I can give you an opportunity. I don't know what this is, but, I, but, but so far, I think these are, my, these are the eyes. Uh, these are the players I'll be keeping my eyes. Mm. All right, for you, Ayo, though, um, who, who, who um, Femi has picked his. Who are the guys that you are looking ahead to seeing the most, especially from an African perspective? I mean, uh, Joel Embiid has to be the guy that comes to mind, and that's because he has an opportunity to play under a coach that has won the NBA title before. I'm talking about Doc Rivers, who won the title uh, in 2008 with the Boston Celtics. And I feel like from a Doc Rivers' point of view, it's a perfect opportunity to work with someone 
who believes he's actually the best mm. center in the game, even though a lot of us think Nikola Jokic holds that title. And that is why I think it's enough motivation for Joel to go out there, mm. lead the Philadelphia 76ers, and show the whole world that he can develop some great chemistry with Ben Simmons and the rest of the guys they've added to the squad and actually push for a place in the NBA Finals by winning um, the Eastern Conference, which, of course, has a juggernaut in the, in, in, in the mode of the Brooklyn Nets with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving suddenly healthy and playing like men on a mission. So I'm looking at Joel Embiid. I'm curious to see the kind of attitude he comes out to play with. I'm curious to see how healthy he can be. And I'm curious to see how much in shape he is committed to being uh, when all is said and done. All right, the man on the screen, Al Farouk Aminu, um, a lot was expected from him. He's not particularly, uh, we talked off the air about him and the amount of injuries he's suffered. Should we expect anything different from him this year or will those injuries still mean that we might not see the best of him? I mean, for Al Farouk, uh, he, he, he recently just had another procedure on his right knee. And so Orlando says he, he plays for the Orlando Magic and they said he will be out indefinitely. Oh. So we don't even know when he's going to return to action, when he's going to get an opportunity to play with the guys in Orlando. So um, it's, it's the nature of the game. With injuries, it can swing in anyone's direction at any time. And we just hope it doesn't happen to the people we really care about. But it's unfortunate it will have to, you know, support the guys from from the um, treatment table all right let me let me talk about one other thing before we actually talk about the guy the, the teams in the nba this year how on earth where was there that much of nigerian born players on the nba draft this year femi what happened just, just do the math how many nigerians live in the <laughs> there's probably no other country in the world that has more immigrants um, than Nigeria. My math may not be totally accurate, but I, I think Nigerians are you know, populated. And you look at, um, of course, our body type, you know, our system, our love for sports, naturally, even from home here, yeah, it's very mm -hmm. easy uh, to say it's only a matter of time for us to begin to um, dominate or get into the NBA. Just look at the college basketball, for example. The girls and the guys, we have so much, so much. And it's only right that these guys graduate to that level and you know, begin to represent at the best possible level and play mm. uh, at the full level of potential. But let me be chipping into um, Afro Camino and um, before I, I, I go, I think Afro has managed to improve season after season. He's had a couple of injuries throughout his career. But if you look at it from you know, day one, from the Clippers, you know, moving you know, to um, the Pelican, the Mavs. You know, then to the bottom two years, and he seems to add one new thing to his game as he grows and as he gets in there. So I just can't wait to see him get back on the floor. He's out in definitely, but I think um, by the time he gets back, he'll be ready to go and this is something mm. new mm. and uh, very interesting about it. All right, um, uh, let's uh, talk about the actual basketball now. And uh, I, um, the big question definitely is who can stop the Lakers again this term? Anyone? I mean, I feel like there's an opportunity for teams in the West and in the East to actually stop the Lakers. Make no mistake, those guys are strong, especially on the defensive end of the basketball court. But I'm looking at the Eastern Conference, and I love the way the Brooklyn Nets look. We need to be cautiously optimistic, though, because Kevin Durant is coming out from coming back from an injury or a series of injuries that kept him sidelined for about one year. But I saw him in preseason. I saw Kyrie in preseason. I was absolutely impressed. And I saw the depth in squad for the Brooklyn Nets. And I'm really scared for the Eastern Conference. I'm wondering <laughs> who's going to stop them if these guys are healthy. I consider them to be great challengers to the Lakers. Another team I'm looking at has got to be the Denver Nuggets. They are young. They are growing together. Uh, they've done a phenomenal job, the front office, and keeping the key guys together, Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and so on and so forth. And we have other guys rising up. Michael Porter Jr., Bo mm. Bo, will have a great year. He wants to win the Rookie of the Year award, and mm. I think it's a possibility for him. That's a team I'm looking out for. Mm. And, of course, you cannot look beyond the Los mm. Angeles Clippers also. It was a disastrous outing for them in the bubble in playoffs. But this time around, I believe Kawhi Leonard Paul George, they are inspired and together with the guys working around them and considering mm. the fact that they have a coach who won the NBA title uh, when he had LeBron James in Cleveland, I'm talking about Teron Lue, 
it's an opportunity for them to right. right the wrongs of last season. And that's why I think this season will not be as straightforward okay. as people kind of make it seem. Don't forget, <laughs> LeBron James is adding another year to his age. Mm. He's going to be older. He might get slower. slower we don't know when know. these things are going to, you know, set right. to begin to slow him down. Right. Will Anthony Davis replicate his form from last season? There's so many um, variables in the whole equation. So who, 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 do you think, who do you think season? are yeah. the closest? You pick one team. Oh, one team. The Brooklyn Nets for me. Femi, what about you? Um, I, I like the feel of the Miami Heat. I think they learned a lot from last year. Bam Adibar is coming up big. They have Jimmy Butler, who looks like he's leader himself. I think they, are, they have a very good potential. I would also not rule out the Denver Nuggets um, as a team that, that can also upset the crowd. And if everything works out really good um, for um, the guys in Milwaukee, um, adding shooters and all, I think they also did mm. very good match on um, race all the for the Lakers, but the Lakers are still very right now. All right. I, I wish we had, like, uh, even more time to talk about this. We could go on and on uh, talking about this, the NBA, especially with these two guys. But thank you very, very much for coming through. So as far as you're concerned, though, one last vote. Will the Lakers win again? Oh, my goodness. Definitely their favorites. I'll, their favorites. I'll, I'll say yes. Femi? I'll say yes. yes. Will the Lakers win, Femi? Sure good. They've done some good business. Yes, they've done some good business in the <laughs> I, I, I see them as favorites. I All think right. It's just to lose, mm. honestly. All right. Us. All right. Thank you very, very much for coming through, guys. We will definitely talk again in the future. Uh, Femi Adifeso and Ayotunde Onobulu, great to have you guys. Let's move on on the show next, and let's look at the fixtures in the NBA uh, for the opening night, and it's a really big one. Uh, the LA Lakers and the Clippers, that's the second match of the night, but it all starts with the Brooklyn Nets, who the guys have talked about. You have to watch them very closely. Kyrie Evan and uh, uh, Kevin Durant, they take on the Golden State Warriors. So two really huge games.